All right, let's go ahead and create a Canva frame. But I'm gonna first start out in Adobe Illustrator, as you can see here. Let me just go ahead and see if I can move some of these icons. There we go, over on that side. Okay, uh, I'm in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just gonna do something very simple, very basic to give, give everybody a chance to see what it is like to create a Canva frame. Now, I am no expert wizard in any of, of this. I have actually had to watch YouTube videos as well and um, come up with an idea of how to create these. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to start out with a image here. Let's see. I'm hit copy. Okay. So what I'm going for is a basic frame and I want to make sure that I can turn this into white. So just go down here, no stroke. All right. And let's see, I want to close this out. We'll get rid of that. All right. So in my layers panel, I have a white rectangle, which is a small, small one on the inside and then the black rectangle. And let's say I want to create, um, Something a little more unique, like for the top. Let's go ahead and put a little lips up there. Kind of like maybe an old TV, just for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna just do the solid there. Okay. And then this black one, black rectangle, and we'll just move that ellipse down and then we're gonna weld those together using the pathfinder tool and actually let's say we're gonna make a little little tag or something right so I'm just gonna create this little tag there we go and let's say I want to make this like a PNG uh, tra transparency. So I want to take the, I'm going to subtract that. Whoops. Did it work? Sometimes I have to do this off, off the canvas or off the artboard in order to make sure it's going to work. So have that. I'm going to take my ellipse, move that down, select the ellipse, and then there we go. Took it out. All right. So you can see that this this uh, circle here for the tag portion is um, transparent. All right. So here's where the magic's coming. I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to take and move my Pathfinder tool out. I'm going to create a clipping mask. I'm going to use this um, inner frame here, the white frame, to create with my clipping mask. But first, what I need to do is find just uh, an image, any image. I have a set of them, but I really like this one here. This is just like a placeholder. That's all this this image is, is gonna be a placeholder. And you'll see what I mean when I put it into Canva. So let's go ahead and move the image down underneath that square. So I'm gonna select the white square, hold shift, select my image which is that pattern background and then i'm gonna go to object clipping mask and then make all right so this is this is what i have i have the clipping mask and that rectangle and then i have my outer frame you know with the transparent hole now what i need to do is select all this and then it i'm going to use my asset panel which if you're not familiar with the assets you can go to it's been a while so, uh, asset export and it's going to pull up this panel um, i already have it in my uh, stack here my tab stack so but if you can't find it if it you know it's not there you just go to window and then you go to asset export okay so i have all this here i'm going to group it so have that that's all grouped together and I'm going to pull this over to my asset 
unit there. I'm going to go ahead and label this as um, tag frame. Okay. And then here's where the magic is. Um, down here in my asset export panel, I have like a PNG, I can do J JPGs, SVG, PDF, and all these other ones. For using Canva uh, to create this as an, into a Canva frame, I need to change this into a PDF. So once I have that, I'm going to select, just tap on it, make sure that this uh, item here is selected. And then here I can go down to export at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and hit choose that as my folder. And there we have that. Okay. So now that we have that as a PDF, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Canva. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a design. I'm going to import my file, which is going to be this PDF file here, this tag frame dot PDF. Go ahead, hit open. And then it says importing your file, view it. I'm going to go ahead and view it, which is here. Okay. As you can see that this here as an export made um, my frame or my image or whatever we want to call this the exact same size. It's not like a big, huge, long eight and a half by 11 PDF or whatever the size it is. It clipped it to the size of my um, element or item that I created. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the image. We're going to click on the image and I'm just going to hit delete. And now I have a frame. And so what I can do is I can go over to my photos, any type of photo here in Canva, or if you have a photo that's uploaded, um, let's go ahead and just put in flowers. Let's say we want to make a flower tag. And I don't need to click on it. I'm going to drag on it and drag it over. Okay. But let's say I don't like that. Let's say I want to do these flowers, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, hold, and then drag it into the frame. And there we have that. So let's say we wanted to, this black um, frame here, you know, the tag part of it. We want to change the color of that. So I just highlight, you know, that tag part. Or the better yet, because of Canva's new features of using a layer panel, if you click on an element or item, you're going to see position. So if you go to position, you'll have an arrange, which is that information there, or you're going to have layers. Okay. So we have our white background. All right. Which is, you know, just the background as you can see. And then we have our tag, which is the black tag. And then we have our image, which we drug into our frame. All right. So what we want to do is ch uh, select the, um, you know, our frame, our black, you know, image or whatever it is that we want to change the color on. And then we go to color and then we can change it to whatever color we want. Now, the best part that I like about this process is uh, trying to find different colors. I have an image in there. I want to, you know, change it to something that's complementary. And what Canva is doing is pulling out all the different colors of that image, like in this flowers, and is giving me some photo colors. As you can see here, that's the photo. And these are, you know, just different colors. So let's say I want to do purple. I can do, you know, um, I don't know we're going to call that like a brownish, maroonish, a black, you know, whatever we like, we can create that. So I'm just going to leave that as purple right now. And then we have this. And of course we can edit the image. You know, we can do a shadow. Uh, we could do a drop shadow if we want, which, I mean, it just changes it. So lots of different options to work with here. Let's see. We'll take that out. We'll delete that. All right. So like I said, there's our frame. And we can just add another photo in there if we would like. We just drag and drop like this one. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you liked this. It uh, is a fun type of process of, you know, building up different assets for your Canva 
um, printables or your KDP books, you know, different elements, items. And you can also, you know, sell these frames, these Canva frames on places like Etsy, Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, Design Bundles. So I really highly encourage you to explore maybe creating some frames. And if you don't have, you know, Adobe Illustrator like I do, you know, there are other vector programs out there and I, uh, I'll uh, share, you know, some of the resources that I found. But um, yeah, for the most part, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this was helpful and definitely explore uh, creating Canva frames. You'll be amazed.